It's been a long road back again, six months of, of rehab, you know, aiming to physios every day. You know, it's been uh, down in Cork with uh, Donny Ryan who picked up that shoulder injury and Dara Hurley who had that bad night, eye injury. So we kind of worked together as a team and, and, and encouraged each other and got us through the, the six months really. So it's great to be back among the, the core group and to be in, in training on the pitches with the lads and, you know, involved in the banter and stuff again is great. So I miss it a lot, I suppose. When you sit in the stand, you're you're like a fan. You know what I mean. You're cheering on the lads. You're you're wishing them the best. There's, there's not a whole lot you can do really. You know you're wishing you were out there, and it, sometimes you nearly have to detach yourself away from from the boys because it gets a bit hard. You know looking at them because you really really want to be there, but you know obviously in the circumstances you'll be no good on, on one leg or whatever. So. Um, it can be very difficult from that point of view, but I think, you know, hopefully, please God, now in a couple of months I'll get my chance and hopefully I'll uh, be able to show people what I can do and, and, and get back to some sort of form. I think it's good we haven't had mass signings and I think um, there's plenty of talent in the squad and with fellas coming back from injuries, I think that they'll be like new signings. If you've, you know, Liam, Donica Ryan, obviously Vian Dupree is a, a kind of a new signing, but he'll be a big player for us and Paul O'Connell. I think we all remember him. Um, and Sam Tui Tupo is a class player. I've seen a lot of him. Um, and I think he may be the direct player we're looking for in midfield. So I think um, it's time now, I suppose, that a lot of the young fellas started making their mark on this team and started pushing pushing hard. And we need two or three players at least getting into the first 15 or else um, we won't be the team we need to be, I feel. It's funny, I suppose... The it's kind of similar now to, uh, to, to to when we were after the disappointing 2007 season. It's like, for, I'm sure when we look back in our careers after we've retired, we look back in 2006 and look back in 2008 and look back in the Grand Slam and all that, and we'll be, you know, we'll be immensely proud. And we'll, but at the time when you're in it, you only look back at the previous season. And um, for us now, we've had two, in my opinion, two disappointing seasons. We, you know. In, in many ways, I suppose um, the season zero eight zero nine, we played our best rugby that I've ever been involved in a Munster, and we picked up the Magnus League. It was a good testament to the to the strength and depth of our squad. But you know, the very disappointing Heineken Cup loss to Leinster, and, and last year we just started sluggishly, showed bits of form at times, but really didn't produce it all over. And uh, you know, when you have seasons like that, you tend to forget about the, the, the you know, 2006, 2008, or, or, or the Grand Slam or anything like that. You tend to forget about it and you just want to prove yourself all over again. And, you know, we, we had a few serious meetings at the end of last season and um, hopefully we'll, 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 we've put things in place that will be challenging and, and probably challenging a bit more convincingly, hopefully, than we were last year.